What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 50 in the Math 1 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. We can see that we have this table that represents the hours X spent working on a new road and the distance Y of road that was finished, and we're supposed to find the slope of the line that fits this data. Now, this one doesn't really test how to find a best fit line, but it's a good way to use your calculator to kind of cheat a little bit and take some of the work off of your plate. And I'll show exactly how to do that before I show how to actually find the slope of all this. So, uh, I go to stat and edit, and I just went ahead and typed in all this data. So list one were my times, list two I put in my distances. I press stat again and calc, and I say linear regression AX plus B, press enter, and it actually gives me the slope of the line that fits this data. And this, uh, these two numbers being one just means that the, all the points are exactly right on a line. Um, there's no fluctuations of any kind. But anyway, this is my slope, AX plus B. My X coefficient is going to be my slope, and this time it's 0 .03, also known as 3 hundredths. And if you remember having to say decimals like that earlier in school, this is the kind of question it can serve you very well on because my answer here is three hundredths. Now, how do I solve this a more normal mathematical way? Well, this is a line, so I can know that whatever my change in x is, my change in y will, uh, will grow at a constant rate to that. So I can just go ahead and actually figure out how much my y is changing and divide it by how much my x is changing. So for my change in y, that's six, minus one and a half. For my change in x, that's 200 minus 50. Six minus one and a half is four and a half. 200 minus 50 is 150. I can find this in my calculator, four and a half divided by 150, and I get the exact same answer, three hundredths. So either way, whether using the calculator to cheat or whether using the calculator to just finish up the math for me, I got this answer of B, three hundredths.